Hi guys, Ravika here, and I am drawing a fan art piece of Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones today. And as usual, I'm trying to keep her a little bit looking like um, the actress, but also with uh, some personal touch and a few twists to facial features, colors and stuff like that. And I just noticed that I actually forgot two details in her belt, but whatever. <laughs> Can't be perfect all the time. But I want to talk to you guys about three reasons why I think you should do fan art. And the first reason is practice sticking to a design and get all the elements correct, but which I totally failed today by forgetting a detail in, in that belt. Um, <laughs> but it's a really, really good practice, especially if you want to illustrate uh, in the future, if you want to, for an example, do book covers or make uh, trading cards, whatever, knowing how to look at, the, at a design and work it into something that is your own art, but still true to the design is really, really good practice. Uh, when I worked for Bella Sarah company and had to do trading cards with uh, horses, we got a mock-up design usually, or we got a old card uh, where the, spe the specific horse was painted previously. And then we had to work with that design. And I could feel that I wasn't used to actually working with other people's design at that time. So that's super good practice. Also, it's super windy outside today. So hopefully <laughs> it won't uh, affect the, this recording too much. Uh, but it's like half a storm outside, I think. So the second reason why I think you should do fan art is that you actually get to draw something that you love. Uh, you can choose a character that you are absolutely in love with and you have watched all the seasons of whatever it's in and stuff like that. And that just brings an extra element to the table um, because you have a history with this character. You don't have to make up a history. You don't have to actually make up the design even. You have this finished character, you know the colors, you know the personality, you know everything about them pretty much. And that really brings a lot to the art. Uh, and it also brings a lot in the sense that the viewer uh, looking at your art probably knows the character as well. And they will read whatever emotion into the art that they know from this character. So you can really bring a lot to the table and engage with your audience in a very different way than if you are creating your own character from, from scratch and then has to build rapport with your audience um, from scratch. Also, the third reason and maybe even the main reason why I really like uh, working with fan art is that you get to focus a lot more on rendering and setting and expression and putting in them in a scene or something else like that. You don't have to think about a color scheme. You don't have to think about do you have long hair or short hair or whatever. And because you already know the character, it's often a lot easier as well. Um, to, to find a scene or something. Maybe you uh, copy a scene from the, the TV show that this character is in or the comic book. But maybe you also have an idea in your head from, from reading their story and you want to illustrate that scene or you are shipping um, two characters and want to make a love scene or whatever. It, it gives you a lot of freedom, but with um, the benefits of knowing this character. And that is super helpful for your art. And it really means you get to 
develop other things that you would normally develop if you are making your character from scratch. So not saying that you shouldn't ever make your own character because please do, it's super fun and it has some very different kind of benefits. But I really do think that, that fan art is worth looking into and there is a reason why it's popular. It's, it's a really nice way to engage with other people who like the same fandom and it's just fun to do and you really get to play around with things that you might not normally come up with. So back to the actual art that I'm doing. Um, I chose Daenerys Targaryen uh, not actually because she's my favorite character from Game of Thrones but because I was in the mood for some dragon art and I really like her design. I like that long light hair and everything and that dress is super pretty with those pastel colors and all that. Even though I really love her design though, I have to see, say that those metal pieces on her shoulder and on her wrist, that, that kind of belt like pattern is such a pain because I am terrible at drawing metal, especially patterns like this. I have like no clue how to play shadows, lights or anything. I should probably have looked a bit closer at the reference to be honest, I might have helped myself a little bit. Um, but the lighting and everything is different on my piece as well, so it's just ah, such a pain to paint those features. But that's part of the challenge of drawing a fan art piece and uh, naturally I could have chosen a different uh, design because she has a lot of different dresses to choose from, but I really really love this dress. I also changed the color quite a bit. <laughs> I took so many freedoms and didn't stick to anything and yeah, but I do love the end result. I think it looks really really nice. I, I'm really happy with how I worked on the Viserion, the dragon in the back. Um, I was um, deliberating which uh, if I should make him a uh, frost version of himself with the blue eyes but I just wanted that golden yellow and the light was golden yellow and everything you can see that I'm working a little bit with some blue light at some point because I'm thinking like blue eyes blue light but yeah it didn't work out for me I really like that golden yellow as a contrast to her dress and everything so I could have done a lot more, I could have done uh, the dress in the right color with more pattern on it and everything, but I took some deliberate freedoms uh, because I was in that mood. <laughs> no other excuse that I was just in that mood. Um, but yeah, I think it's it was a good practice. I had a lot of fun. It took forever because I was working on other projects in between. I had commissions to do as well. But fan art is usually something that I like taking my time with um, because it's something that I'm learning from. I'm using it as a reference practice, I'm using it to practice colors and lighting and stuff like that just because like I said with, with a fan art you already have the design so you can really practice with light sources and how different things affect the character and stuff like that so you can have a lot of fun with doing fan art and if you keep in mind you know what kind of fan art you are, where you release it, how you release it and stuff like that. I don't see any issues with doing fan art at all. I see it as a tribute to the character, to the fandom, to the series or whatever it's from. But yeah, anyways, love fan art, enough rambling from me. <laughs> be healthy, be safe, keep painting and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.